All right, uh, in this video, though, I'm not really going to do anything uh, other than just put up a table of Laplace transforms because we'll use this in some of the other examples, so just as a reference. So um, on the left, we have our function f of t, and then um, on the right, we have the Laplace transform associated with that. So uh, the Laplace transform of the function 1 is just going to be 1 over s. Um, if you have t to a power n, you end up getting n factorial over s to the n plus 1. If it's sine of at, we get a over s squared plus a squared. Again, a lot of these are just justified uh, straight using the definition. Um, if you have cosine of at, you get s over s squared plus a squared. If it's e to the at, we get 1 over s minus a. e to the at times sine of bt, we get b over s minus a squared plus b squared. If it's e to the at cosine of bt, we get s minus a over s minus a squared plus b squared. And if we have t to a power of n uh, times e to the at, we get n factorial over the quantity s minus a raised to the n plus 1. So uh, we'll use these in some other examples to actually calculate Laplace transforms of functions.